What is up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have Marvel Spider-Man Far From Home Mysterio. Uh, this is numbered 473, and it's Mysterio with his uh, kind of fishbowl. Here is the collection, we can get Spider-Man Hero Suit, Spider-Man Stealth Suit, Spider-Man Upgraded Suit, MJ, Happy Hogan, Mysterio, Multiman, and Hydro-Man. So this is off the newest movie out of the MCU. I love the movie. Tell me in the comments down below what you thought of the movie. And let's get this Funko Pop open. Mm, there you go. So pretty nice box. It uh, shows you the character pretty well um, throughout the box. And there's this big window. And at the back there's actually like a Spider-Man symbol. And here is the Funko Pop itself. The Marvel ones have the bobble head on it, so that's pretty cool. So if you had it in your car, um, it'd be pretty cool for that. They do turn. They kind of articulate. Kind of don't. Um, as you can see. Let's just turn this so it's facing the right way. So... We'll start from the bottom, you get kind of a puff of smoke, um, if you want to call that, with legal guff on the bottom. Um, so this is like kind of showing you uh, the magical kind of Mysterio kind of uh, effect. It's not glow in the dark, it does look glow in the dark. You also get on the hands these translucent eye pieces, uh, look like Illuminati. Um, but uh, yeah, they're pretty cool, and they feel like they could easily fall off, but... Uh, I'm not going to try and pull them off. You get this awesome cape, and that's one of my favourite things about this figure. And uh, the cape's got paint details on it with the blue kind of tech and the uh, older green kind of uh, symbols and stuff. Um, and even in the inside of the cape, that kind of technological blue um, goes throughout. You get these brown boots with some moulded detailing. And going up onto the torso, we get this really sharp detailing of uh, the kind of Mysterio armour with the blue um, kind of Tony Stark mini arc, arc reactors and a little paint splodge for all of you OCD fans. Um, on the back, the sculpting still goes on but you can't really see it. And then you probably get to either your favourite thing or your worst thing is the uh, fishbowl thing. Um, um, I dig it, it's fine, it looks like a bit like a cloud um, or cauliflower but it's all right it kind of uh gives off that mysterio fishbowl effect i think they could have done a bit more silvery paint apps on the actual plastic outside bit itself because it's just a bit it just looks like a cloud in a ball in a like a ball really um you get this gold brass kind of detailing around the edge and on his uh wrist you get the kind of gauntlet designs on each one there is a Bit of, I think that's glue. Um, see if we can focus on that there. Um, I don't know what that is. I think it's glue. Um, so that detracts from the head a bit. And the back's a bit messy as well. The join line is very noticeable as well with the glue detailing. So really, you just want it like that front on. So what do I think of this overall? I think it's good. Um, a couple of minor things I would change is probably the head. I don't think it's great especially with the uh, molding line there but apart from that i think it's pretty worthy of the funko pop name and uh yeah i'm pretty happy with it and it will go on my marvel funko pop shelf so thank you guys so much for watching this quick funko pop review and i'll see you guys in the next video bye